Hey, good morning, everyone. Meg here from Hopper. Hope everyone is having a fantastic Wednesday, successfully getting things wrapped up and in order so that you can join us for the kickoff of the 27th annual Grasshopper Adventure Series taking place this Saturday in Ukiah. The purpose of this slideshow and me recording it is to go over with you some of the essential details to make sure that everyone has the best possible day out on the course, as well as a fantastic weekend and after party gathering. Let's take a look first at the map of Low Gap Grasshopper. We're starting at a different location. We're thrilled to have partnership, sponsorship by the city of Ukiah and a neutral rollout by the Ukiah police. So we're ex excited not to have to be staging onto Ore Springs. We'll be starting and staging at Todd Grove Park uh, and leading out here um, on Live Oak over to Bush Brush Street down to North State. It's a little bit different than you see here. The ride with GPS has been adjusted. We're skipping this section of Low Gap uh, to go down Empire. They're doing construction on Low Gap Road. It will also make it simpler for the Ukiah police to have to control one less stoplight. Uh, around the halfway mile mark on Ore Springs, the police will accelerate and then pull off, at which time riders are free to ride at their own pace, whether you're out for the adventure, the exploration, or you are truly shredding out there. There are lots of places to be particularly um, careful of on the course. And when we look at the ride with GPS map in just a moment, we'll go over more of those in detail. So keep in mind the general profile starts out with about a 2000 foot climb, a little dip and a few hundred feet before rocketing down into Ore Springs. At about mile 21, you do a two mile climb up to the feed zone here where we'll have the folks from Trailhouse NorCal Bike Peddler there, not only to help you out uh, with um, bicycle mechanical needs, if you if you have such, uh, such a need, there will be the West County Composite Mountain Bike Team providing you there, helping you out with nutrition and snacks, et cetera, whatever it is that you need for a good day. Um, a note for folks here at this point, the 23 mile mark, you feel like you're halfway there. If anyone is having mechanical problems at that point, or they're too cold, or they're in over the head, uh, in terms of effort, it is not the halfway point of the day. It is much easier to flip it and to go back the same way you came than to do this uh, remainder of the course. I've ridden it several times this year and have raced it. Uh, in terms of effort, I'd say it's more about one third of your day to get to this feed zone and not one half. Uh, in a moment, we'll also see some details about the bridge bypass and also some photos about the descent on Miller Ridge from Feed Zone 2 that is really, really muddy this year. Registration. Friday, we'll have registration from 5 to 9 p.m. at the Holiday Inn Express where you can pick up your race packet number uh, and everything you need. In addition to that, we'll have coupons for a free beer at the Ukiah Brewing Company, where some of the proceeds will be going to the North Cal League. Saturday Reg opens at 6 at Todd Grove Park. This is a map of the venue layout in the Google Slideshow. This is a, this is a hyperlink. It's also on the Grasshopper webpage. In this slideshow, we're going to go over parking, uh, some ways to donate and support the NorCal Cycling League, uh, the bottle drop, start staging, finish, where the portos are, lunch, and the podium. One quick thing about this, the NorCal Cycling League clothing donation, uh, they will be accepting those in the morning or afterwards. Your lightly used clothing um, will be over here in the around the registration area. This blue represents the parking as well as the van camping the night before. This is Anton Stadium. The This is a, some porta potties over here. If you dare tent camp, it would be probably over here in the ball field. 
Again, thank you for your support of the NorCal League and NICA. Uh, hope everyone can come on Friday night, grab a drink, have some dinner at the Ukiah Brewing Company. In addition to our proceeds helping out with the NorCal League, we have Helena uh, from Monarch Racing on her own initiative, uh, creating a program to help support um, young, more young women getting out on bikes and expanding uh, the type of events that they're doing. We have over 20 junior women. In addition to that, we have the mentors that are riding with them. So you will see on the back of the jerseys of the young women, it says mentee and on the mentors U19 program. So they'll be staging ahead with the pro men and women in the morning. So as you roll by, make sure to say howdy uh, to these folks and to wish them luck. There's four different ways to support the NorCal League. One of them is that we'll have uh, raffle tickets for sale, a $500 Burley gift certificate as well as Scratch and Goo products. Uh, we'll have those going on until HuffMaster. Uh, another way is that the bike wash, this is specifically for the West County Composite team. Uh, it's a great opportunity to have your bike cleaned. The bike cleaning station isn't gonna be a free for all whoever wishes to white, white wash their bike. This is by donation for the club with squirt cleaning products. Number three, you'll see uh, beautiful pint glasses by Clean Canteen in partnership with Bicycle Law. We'll have those for sale for a donation, $5 and upwards. Um, and you can use those for uh, your Sierra Nevada beer. Those who have signed up for a series pass will get one for free. And then the last way, hopefully you all have started this, is by way making a direct donation or uh, getting people to support the cause through Pledge Reg. All right, let's take another look at the venue here. We've got the tent camping, van parking, portos. We're going to have the bike wash over here. Super important thing, tacos, of course. Um, don't forget to have a snack after the race. Uh, it gets pretty busy in the couple hours getting, getting your tacos. So maybe uh, get your order, go get your car washed, your car washed, sorry, your bike washed, uh, and grab a beer. So there'll be portos here. There's a public restroom, and then also at the staging staging in terms of parking there's about 150 spots here other than that you can park in the neighborhood they're used to having events just don't block people's driveways um, nor park in the church parking lot here um, and there'll be no parking next to the golf course A bottle drop provided by specialized you can leave your bottles clearly marked with your name with their van, with the folks there. This is only for feed zone one. They will be set out in front of the, or as you exit the feed zone. So please be kind, no screaming, demanding things, uh, no hucking bottles. You can gently set yours down. You can chill out and grab your bottles or take your time and fill up with water, scratch hydration and grab some snacks. The staging area is along Live Oak on the east side of the park. Roll out is, and start is at 9 a.m. Pre-ride chat at 8.45. They'll be staging in the front for the pro and mentor program staging, followed by everybody else. We'll have a neutral police rollout. The rollout this year goes uh, down this way onto North Street. I'm sorry, on Bush Street. And we're going to Empire and not Low Gap. We're changing this due to the fact that there's some construction here, as I mentioned. And also, we can skip one other stoplight. Uh, once we get onto North State Street, we'll turn left onto Orr Springs. And as we get about a half mile into Orr Springs, they will accelerate and riders can proceed on their own. There's a couple things to point out here on this map, and hopefully everyone has downloaded and has the Ride with GPS map. The course will be marked well, um, but you really need to have a copy of this, either on your device or on your phone downloaded. There's a quick, uh, very sharp corner right as we leave the straightaway, and I'm gonna show you a photo of that. 
as well as some uh, corners up here to proceed with caution. The descent off of this ridge has some really, really start sharp switchbacks, okay? Um, as well as there's some challenging parts coming off of Miller Ridge. You'll notice here the heat map, uh, which we'll be talking about just in a little bit longer. This is the Masonite Road. This is a way if you're having difficulty to cut the course shorter at the trestle to get back onto Masonite Road. Okay. A couple of years ago, uh, we had an issue with the start where many of the riders were over the yellow line. This year we'll have uh, photographers there and anyone will be disqualified who does that. So again, you must stay in the one lane uh, behind the police escort. The roads are open. People live out there. There will be some oncoming traffic. You need to stay in your lane. This is the corner just past the previous the previous, previous photo. So just past this section, you come to this. As you notice, it's a blind, sharp, narrow right-hand corner on a loose bridge. So you need to stay in the right lane. There will be oncoming traffic. We have marshals out there. Uh, sponsored by Sportful. This are the vests that they'll have out there. They're out there to lend a hand and keep you safe. Please listen to them and respect their guidance and let them know if you or a rider, another rider, uh, are in need. Well, additionally, in addition to that, there will be some Velomeds out there able to lend a hand. The course is marked uh with caution signs and arrows and wrong ways that are yellow and black this is what you're looking for if there's a caution sign on the course i personally put it in that place okay it's only a caution sign if we mean it so usually that means sharp corners so control your speed before getting to the caution signs it's an example of one of the really sharp corners descending off of the initial climb. There's probably six or seven of them with this sort of radius. So please ride with care and pass with care. If you find that you're catching up to a rider who is faster than you on a climb, but you're faster than them on the descent, please, uh, please pass with caution. Let them know that you're there. We want everyone to be safe and to have a good time. When you get to the feed zone, this is what the turn is. Again, we'll have the West County Composite helping out with the feed zone and uh, NorCal Trail Spike Peddler with their van, van lending you a hand. Just past this is a small parking area. So if you are if you know of someone who plans to come out and check out the course, this is not a place to park. You have to park off the side of the road past this. It's an example of low gap road just last week for the most part it has drained really well though you'll find that there will be standing water in some of the corners uh, it's not too deep or muddy and there's always a way to uh, go around it there are some ruts in the road so be heads up at about the six mile mark you get to a trestle where low gap road cannot be crossed at which time you descend down to masonite and you make a quick right hand turn back on to Low Gap Road. Last year, some people missed this spot. I think they got into smooth terrain, looked down at the computer, grabbed a gel, blew past the wrong way turn, and just kept going. Never on Low Gap Road does it get smooth and buttery, right? It's up and down, up and down, up and down. So if you find yourselves on that, that means that you've gone past this. So don't do that. A closer up of what you're looking for, for a sharp right-hand turn. So also be aware of the riders ahead of you and behind you at this point. If you come in it, into it together, uh, this is about a uh, 100 degree right-hand turn. So 90 would be perpendicular and you're actually going back the way you're coming. So you're going to be coming from really quick speed to almost a standstill right-hand turn. This intersection is also the spot where if you are in over your head, um, and you need to head back on a shorter way, this would be the way on the Masonite Road. If you take the Masonite Road at this point, it will uh, connect with the same course, but you'll, you'll have a little bit of an easier climb and you won't have the muddy descent.
Once you get to mile 35, which is the second feed zone at Miller Ridge, you're dropping down um, what is called Miller Ridge. Uh, MRC has been doing some fuel reduction and they just finished up doing that. So the roads are a little bit muddy and the water bars are recent. Um, the second uh, way to get back shorter is at the feed zone. If you don't want to continue doing this descent through the mud, you can continue on low gap road, okay? But here we are with the mud. This is another look of what it is. So these water bars, these slices are super gooey. Some of them are uh, a foot or 18 inches high, and it's pretty much just wet mud. These aren't compacted yet. So uh, I'd recommend, you know, the first one, it, cycle cross style over there, especially if you're not super confident in this type of conditions. Uh, there's tons of potential if you just try to ride through it of stopping your front wheel a la Scorpion. The descent on Masonite Road is a ripping descent. It's a pedaling descent. Uh, there's quite a few corners at full speed that you need to be very cautious of. We'll have signs up there for you. That means to proceed with care. And on the road, there's several metal bridges. Some of them have these slits in here um, in which I'll be putting stakes and cautious signs uh, on the morning of the event. Okay, you obviously don't want to be riding into those. Most of them have these plates across the middle. There's one or two like this that we will be marking. So proceed with caution. We don't expect ice but they will most likely be wet and slippery. The end of the day, the finish is here uh, on the Masonite Road, which parallels the Ore or, or Springs. Uh, please proceed past the finish line to this area in the vineyard where we'll have some scratch recovery product and uh, a friend will be out there doing post-race muddy photos. Thanks, Kim, coming out. And thank you to Scratch Lab Nutrition for the hydration and recovery. From the finish line, if you care to go back a different way, you can take this vineyard cut, which will be obvious to you, and then wind your way back on Low Gap Road to the park, or you could just press return and go the same way we came in the morning. We'll be gathering at Todd Grove Park for beer by Sierra Nevada some other non-alcoholic beverages. We recommend that everybody support the bike wash, your friend's uh, vehicle that you came in as well as your own, you'll greatly appreciate it. So maybe put your food order in, go get, your, get, get a cold beer, get your bike wash and support Mike Warren and the Mountain Team of West Sonoma County, sponsored by Squirt. Thanks again to Enduro Bearings for making the best metals we could ever imagine, as well as the best bearings uh, for your bicycles. Um, top notch, not notch folks. And again, we'll have Kurt Stockton doing the podium for us. They will also have the two o'clock finisher prize for their Enduro bottom brackets. Ukiah Coffee Company, Black Rose Coffee our sponsors this year and they've offered all participants a free cup of coffee if you want to stop either at Healdsburg or Ukiah on your way up tell them you're coming on up for the hopper get a free cup of coffee we'll also have some beans uh, for podium prizes and other some random recipients and then don't forget about the generous offer from Trailhouse NorCal and Bike Peddler a reminder of the Grasshopper 2024 uh, Events coming up, we've got the Huff Master, a.k.a. Mud Master, but we're hoping it's not too muddy this year, followed by the Lake Sonoma Enduro, Lake Sonoma Mountain Bike, and the series finale, the Ukiah Mendo Epic, which, contain, which contains or uh, includes the entire length of the Masonite Road. It's a really, really fantastic loop. We hope you can join it. It's also part of the Gravel Earth series. That's all we got for you guys. Again, uh, thanks for listening to the video. I hope this helped you out. You'll have a link to uh, check out the slideshow on your own. Don't forget you have the Ride With GPS map. And uh, have a safe trip up. We'll see you in a few days.